Hey everybody and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm us, Jackie Later, Stone Lake Jackson. And this is a nice simple one. It's a classic and I'm surprised we didn't cover it when we did our salute to the sandwich and that whole week long stuff. It's a BLT. It's really cool. I couldn't find any mutton for an MLT. And, you know, the mutton is nice and juicy and the tomatoes are plump. Douche. But <laughs> that being said, let's just jump into it. It's super simple. We're going to have a short one today. Before we do, be sure to like, share, subscribe, build the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell so you get notifications when we do this whenever we do it. And also, uh, be sure to check a link down at Doobly Doo. We got a lot of merch. We got aprons and fake hands and pot holders and spatulas and flippers and spoons and the, that's it. But that's what we got. It's cool. And it's got our stuff on it and an autograph if you need it. Links down at the Doobly Doo. Let's just get into the food because it's going to smell like bacon. It's going to be awesome. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's get the sweet and low and hot sauce. Well, I'll leave the hot sauce in there. Maybe you can use it or whatever. Sorry. <laughs> so, first thing, you need some lettuce. You can get a head or you can get this pre shredded stuff. You get the head, you're going to have to cut it yourself. Or you can get this for about the same price. So you're also going to need tomatoes. I use these little ones because I don't want giant slices of tomato and bacon. You're going to need decent bacon. It's your base expenditure. So you go ahead and spoil yourself and get the decent stuff. All right. Uh, it doesn't have to be the bo dirt bottom stuff, which is what I got. You're only going to use half of it. You're going to need some bread. Regular bread's fine, but I got these Kaiser rolls for like two ninety eight, but it was like a day late. So there was like a buck. You can get the long bread. You can do short bread. You can do whatever kind of bread. I got these. Uh, I'll have to slice them later. I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, it works perfect. So. Uh, I like using my cast iron, uh, put it about medium, medium high, uh, if you're cooking the bacon, because that's what you're doing, unless you want to just raw bacon, don't cook raw bacon, uh, you're going to want to put it in there, uh, cast iron is good, but it's small, my only cast iron is tiny, so, because we're doing small round bread, I'm going to go ahead and take this bacon and cut it in half, use my secret utility tool for the kitchen, a pair of scissors, Shout out to me for buying my own damn scissors. And then take these and put them in the skillet. Like I said, medium, medium high, let them cook. Uh, we can discuss how to cook bacon in a minute. So once you get it on there and it's nice and good, uh, let's go ahead and cut up the shredded stuff and your lettuce or slice up our lettuce either way. So I got the shredded stuff, so I don't have to do anything. Still want to clean it though. I want to go ahead and take it out and wash it. Set that aside. Now while it's all still cooking, again, get your tomato, nice sharp knife. Shout out to Andy. And go ahead and cut it. Now I cut it in half once and then just sliced it, uh, what is it, horizontally? I guess it depends on which part you consider up and down. Uh, just one time. I don't like the big rings of tomato. Mostly, I guess my teeth don't touch right, so when I bite it, it doesn't cut all the way through, so I end up dragging the whole damn tomato out of the sandwich and makes it mess. So, I cut it into these small parts. Now, you're not really going to need the uh, butt ends, the round ends of the tomato. Those you can just snack on while you're doing it. Now, your bacon, be sure to flip it every now and then. Now, I bacon is a preference. Like, just depends on how you want to cook it. I prefer mine still chewy. I think that if you grab a piece of meat on the corner and it stands straight out to find gravity, that piece of meat is burnt. So I'm not a big fan of well done or very crispy bacon. That sounds disgusting to me. I don't want to bite into a piece of meat and it shatters into shards. That's horrible. So once it's cooked to your desired level of cookness, get your secret weapon out, your plate with your paper towel on it, and go ahead and pull these off. Like, I want it a little chewy, browned a little bit. So mine cooked for about three to five minutes. I used two skillets because I wanted to get both my sandwiches done at once instead of just one at a time in my small skillet. Now if your bread is already cut and it's hinged, you're good. If it's not, like these Kaiser roll things I got, go ahead and get you a nice sharp knife and cut it. Watch your hand. I was so stupid cutting this and I apologize. <laughs> just cut it be very very careful lay it out now let's dress this thing now traditionally it's only like one or two things of bacon your lettuce tomato or filler because you're trying to stretch that bacon a little bit so two three pieces is what i usually account for so i can spread it and make enough people if it's just me i pile that shit on so i want as much bacon as i possibly can just put it on there uh so i just kind of split because i'm doing two sandwiches I split all the stuff that i cooked so i think i put four or five now I'll put a handful of the tomato slices on here again Go ahead and snack on the butt. You always eat the butt of the tomato and put the other ones on there. So it's just two slices of tomatoes all I did. Get your handful of your lettuce that you cleaned and uh, let dry because you don't want a soggy lettuce sandwich. Then again, I end up, end up using the shredded stuff instead of just big leaves of it. And he's done. Now, if you want to go a step further, hit that bottom and the top piece with just a thin bit of mayonnaise. I mean, Bacon ain't the healthiest thing in the world, and adding mayo to it ain't helping, but it's good. You use all kind of stuff for this, but I always preferred mayo growing up, just so it doesn't feel so much as a dry sandwich. Dress them the same way, bam, it's just bacon, lettuce, and tomato on bread. It's relatively easy. Now this, the bacon was our big expenditure at like right at $5, and our bread was a uh, dollar and a half because I got it day after, so it's relatively cheap. 
So this was great. And uh, if you take it and cut it down to the two or three slices per, like that we traditionally do when you're trying to spread it among people, you can do this for six, eight people easily. And even give you a, your own sandwich, a couple extra strips of bacon because Cook gets the bonus stuff. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. I want to know how other people do it. Like this is just how I did it with the mayo growing up. Um, I was told when I mentioned it before that that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it with just bacon, lettuce, tomato, and bread, even though the bread isn't listed. So I don't know why they were arguing that. But... I'm willing to find out exactly how you do it and if you've ever done it this way, like the traditional type with just the straight bread and stuff. There you have it, folks. Your house smells awesome. Everybody's going to love it. And it's simple. Like, you can add other stuff. Like, like I did in the video, like, you can add mayo or whatever. I saw somebody that did, like, uh, stone ground uh, mustard and stuff, which is amazing. But just simple, basic. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and bread. Even though they don't add the B, so I guess it'd be B-B-L-T. Whatever. But if you do it differently, you want to you know, the try out your way of making a BLT, let us know. Put it down in the comments. That's what they're there for. You can also find us on social media. You can tell us over there. Find us in uh, Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. You can find us all of those at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram at Living Between. and shorten it down over there. Uh, you can find me under my name, Osby Nerdy. I'll try to put it on the screen, but I don't know how. <laughs> you can find me over on uh, TikTok. I've been doing some little cooking vids just for over there just to try to you know, dang little worm, get people over here. I don't know if it's working, but it's fun. And I'll see y'all next time. Y'all be safe, please. Ah.